help. Star Wars The Last Jedi is expected to draw huge crowds next week, one of several films timed for Christmas release. Definitely the busiest time of the year. Uh, this next week with school vacations coming up, uh, we have the biggest influx of, of students and, and people, really. But before the opening credits ever roll here in Essex... Good morning. Thank you for coming. You'll see a new message from Chittenden County police agencies to buckle up. It's a pilot project they've never tried before. The PSA will run for the next six months before every screening here in Essex. So far this year, more than half of the 67 killed on Vermont roads were not buckled up, including four at this accident in Bridport in August. Shelburne Lieutenant Al Fortin says the data shows young drivers are a special challenge, one group in particular. The problem areas that we're seeing is the younger drivers, especially the younger males of pickup trucks, that segment of, of the population is higher than any other segment. Overall, seatbelt use in Vermont has dipped to 84 percent. It's even lower in the Upper Valley and in Franklin County. Officers plan to visit high schools near this Essex theater in the spring to see if the new messages had an effect. You know, this is a 15-second uh, PSA, we'd love to do a 30-second one uh, if this works out and we see that we're getting the response. In Essex, Stuart Ledbetter, NBC5 News. Many Vermont police agencies hope state lawmakers tighten the seatbelt law next year, allowing officers to pull you over solely for not buckling up. States like New York that have that primary enforcement law have seatbelt use as high as 95%.